Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman of Master School Dances. I wanted, I wanted, originally wanted to do a video about my new rig, which talks about the uh, Alation Compu Show with the MidiCon. I actually have a dual monitor set up, huge rack mount computer that I repurposed just specifically for this program I back up. But I'm going to hold off on that because there's going to be some really cool new features that are coming out uh, really soon. And I want to wait till they have those features to fully show you. But I am going to show you something that is not an instruction manual and to my knowledge, no other live program has, and it could absolutely revolutionize the way the DJs do live shows. Now, one of the cool things about lighting, of course, of DMX is that it becomes a lot easier nowadays to be able to share shows. You know, if I want to transfer my show from one computer to the other, easily done. But let's say that I have a show, and if you notice right now, this is going from green to uh, blue, I mean, green to yellow. See how I can tell my colors? You know, nothing fancy, but still. This is on channel 15. And this is, by the way, the QWH5 with the American DJ LFS, LFS filter. Uh, but it's on channel 15. Well, let's say that I know somebody that has the QW5s on DMX channel 1, and they would like to use, you know, my show. Well, with most live programs, you can't do that. Technically, on the user interface, I haven't seen a way that you can do that. You know, you can transfer a, a, a page of fixtures or a fixture and scenes, but it would have to be on that same DMX address. Or does it? You see, the way that Alation Copy Show works is with most DMX boards, let's pretend this is a manual DMX board, right? You know, page one, this would be DMX address one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I hit page two, this would be DMX address nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, whatever. DMX usually sees everything as numbers. Copy Show takes it one step further. We have this page, what's called the pages, and the pages are in the individual fixtures. So it sees the channel here, uh, the QWH, and it says that it starts at address 15 and ends at 22. That's where the numbers stop because the rest of the show, and here's the scenes underneath, when I tell it yellow and green, it doesn't start at address 15, it tells it to page the QWH5 and then it translates it from there. So what does this mean? We're gonna go to the C drive. We're gonna go to CompuShow Final. There's a data light, and out here is my particular folder, okay? Now, I'm going to go to my page uh, for QWH5. This is my fixture bank that has the switches, that has the scenes, and we'll talk about that at the review. And I'm going to open up two individual, or I'm going to open up two files right now. The first file that I'm going to open is page PDA. This little file gives us a whole bunch of code that basically tells CompuShow everything about that fixture. What I noticed here is that it says FX ID, which clearly means fixture ID 4. So I know that my QWH5 is uh, fixture 4. How do I know that as well? Because this is the fourth fixture that I added in when I started adding my addresses. So let's go to one scene. And let's say that I'm going to do, uh, let's say, um, where is it? Here we go. Mm-hmm. Let's say blues, right? Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. But blues. Now, here's a whole bunch of stuff, and I can explain this to you much later on. But this is what you need to worry about. First, it has the easy uh, step, which basically tells it, you know, what are the steps and the functions for each step, you know, metadata that it needs. But here is FX, FXS, which is the fixture. And what it says here is fixture ID 4 and library name, flat par, QWH 12 underscore 5, which is the fixture profile, SSL 2. Well, my friend would like to use this show for his fixture on channel one. Well, normally you can't do that, but now we know that we, uh, now I know that I can. So again, I'm going to copy that scene, right? And I'm going to go to his folder and his folder is back at data light new. Okay. I'm going to go to the flat part QWA 125. Notice there's no hyphen. It's got an even different name to make things more complicated. Not a big deal. I'm going to go here and I'm going to kill the cat. Get away, cat. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it. So I'm going to paste the file. Now again, 13blues.sce. And I'm going to go over here. Meh. Okay. And I'm going to change the fixture ID to whatever on his is. So let's find out what his are. Well, Right now, I'm going to go to an open save show. I'm just going to go ahead and open up his show. And his show is very simple. We'll pretend that he's got millions of fixtures, right? But right now, he just has the QWH5. 
fives on his. There's my cat trying to tap the light. Okay, now we see here there's already, you know, he's got a couple of programs, uh, which this is, let's go back to pages here. You'll notice it says flat park, QWA, and then it says DMX address one. You with me so far? So we're going to change this light to DMX address one. Come on over here, cameraman. I feel like a ShamWow guy. All right, so, oh, Lord, <laughs> there's the cat just, okay, so here we go. Here's the program on channel one. So I can't just drag and drop a light in there because my shows were on DMX channel 15. Not a big deal. First, we need to find out what uh, ID his files have. So here is again data light new, which was his, flat par QWA 125. I'm going to drop in that PDA file for a second and I'm going to go back to the FX. And I see here that FX ID is 1. Okay, so now I know that his own is 1. So I'm going to go to the file that I just dropped in, okay, FXID4, we're going to change it to 1, because you see, this isn't telling it to page it by the DMX address, it's telling it to find the light by the name and the ID, and then that page file, or that page um, PDA is going to translate it from there, which is already done. Now I need to rename this to his, and he did not have the dash on his. So we have that done, let's go ahead and close it. Now, we're going to need to close this entirely and restart the program. It's going to say writing fixtures. It's just the usual stuff that it does when it closes. We're going to close this folder out entirely. Okay, we'll uh, hope the cat's enjoying himself over there. So again, we're going to open it up. We're going to restart the show. Now it's going to bring in the new page over. Okay, now, I have to bring the... Uh, file in and again I can show this to you later but I gotta bring in the page so I'm gonna go to layer settings there's the file that I just did the 13 blues I'm gonna drop it in there alright folks there it is there BAM now look up there it is there so here's the exciting part here's the exciting part now let's say that somebody else just bought a whole bunch of the brand new NO beams or has a whole bunch of NO beams right let's say they have them on DMX address uh, 25 okay and they've got some great shows and scenes and stuff already made. I'm like, oh man, I love those. I'm going to want to copy those over. Unfortunately, my DMX address 25 was already taken by my active UFO. So I might, my inno beams would be on DMX channel, I think like 200 something once I get those in there. Okay? Crap. Well, now all I got to do is follow the steps which I showed you. All you have to do is change one tiny number and just a name. And 9 out of 10, you don't have to change the name if you import everything from the fixture address like it is, but if you do modify, you have to modify that name too. But if you don't modify the name, you just change the fixture ID. It takes a couple of minutes for each scene, done. Now the next step is to get a program that automatically takes those text files and batches everything in one shot. And I might have to write that myself or find somebody that can help me out with it. Either way, this now means that a bunch of DJs with Compu Show can now share light shows and just couple of minutes and you can change somebody's entire life show and have it work on your system. Available right now only with CompuShow. Stay tuned for the review. There's a lot more that I'm absolutely excited about. There may be a little more videos in between before the big one. Again, my name is Arnaldo Wofferman, Master School Dances, Elation CompuShow with the Minicon, lots of buttons and pretty things, alright? So, thanks so much.